Welcome back to the lab. Today we're going to cover the coronary vessels. All right, so we're starting with the anterior side of the heart. We know it's anterior because the superior vena cava is on the right side. Remember the patient's right side. Um, also, the apex is pointed towards the patient's left side. So the first um, two vessels I want to show, I'm going to start off with the arteries. And the, the first two branches off of the ascending aorta right here are the right and the left coronary arteries. Okay, so the heart wall itself is really going to get the freshest oxygen, if you want to think about it like that, because these are the first branches off of the aorta. If we were to follow the right coronary artery, um, mind you, there are lots of branches, and actually the kind of how these lay out on the heart can vary from person to person, but basically this is what it looks like. If we were to follow this inferiorly like this and look at this first major branch, this is called the right marginal artery. We know that this is an artery because it is taking blood A for away from the inside of the heart, if you want to think of it like that. Remember, oxygenated blood from the left ventricle then goes in through the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta. So we know that blood is oxygenated, which is why it is colored red. And we know it's an artery because it's carrying blood A for away from the heart. If you think about it, this right marginal artery is going to supply oxygenated blood to which chamber? If it's in this area, that makes up the right ventricle. So that is a very important vessel because it supplies oxygen to the myocardium of the right ventricle. If we were to look at the left coronary artery, let's follow this branch right here. This large one right here that goes kind of right down the middle, so to speak, on the anterior side is the anterior interventricular artery. We also call this the left anterior descending artery. And when I worked in the emergency room, that's actually how I read it on reports and I heard um, cardiologists refer this to the LAD, but either term works. And this is going to supply oxygenated blood to the left ventricle. Now this vessel gets a nasty nickname and it's called the Widowmaker. So let's think about why that's the case. Well, if this artery gets occluded, which part of the heart is oxygen starved? Really, it hits that left ventricle the hardest. And again, form follows function. What is the job of the left ventricle? it is going to pump oxygenated blood into the aorta, which is going to the rest of the body. So if this vessel gets occluded, um, it's, it's pretty bad news. You gotta get taken care of very quickly, and even then, um, you might still be in trouble. So that is the anterior interventricular artery. Again, the name is quite long, but if you kind of slow it down, break it up, it's very descriptive anterior because it's the anterior side of the heart, interventricular, in between the ventricles. Now we have this branch right here. This is going to be the circumflex artery. And when I think circumflex, I think of a circumference where you're kind of going around. So this is going to supply um, the left side of the heart and kind of go around to the posterior side. The major artery I wanna show you on the posterior side of the heart is the posterior interventricular artery. Again, um, that's quite a mouthful, but if you slow down and break it up, it makes a lot of sense. Posterior, because we're on the posterior side of the heart. Interventricular, because we are going in between the ventricles. So use the name to guide you exactly to what piece of anatomy you're looking at. Let's now take a look at the veins. So notice that when you look at the model, 
we're, we're gonna have two vessels side by side and vessels like to do that. One vessel will deliver oxygenated blood to that part of the body and the other one is going to drain deoxygenated blood from that part of the body to bring it back to the cardiopulmonary circulation to get oxygen. So let's kind of look at the uh, veins that match up with those arteries that we just looked at. So kind of going in the same order, or again, remember this is the red vessel right here is the right marginal artery. And so the vein that is right by it, we call that the small cardiac vein. Okay, and then here, remember that this is the anterior interventricular artery or the left anterior descending artery. So this large blue vessel that's right next to it, we call that the great cardiac vein. We flip this over. Right here, this blue vessel that is right next to the posterior interventricular artery, that is actually going to be next to the, uh, excuse me, the middle cardiac vein. So again, we have small, middle, and great. So a reminder about veins, remember the basic definition, a vein, no matter what color it is or where it is in the body, it's all about the direction of blood flow. So a vein is going to take blood back towards the heart. And a way to think about it is really, it's gonna bring blood back into this right atrium so it can go through um, the heart and the lungs to get oxygenated. So what that means is that the direction of blood in all of these blue vessels you see, okay, all the blue vessels happen to be veins on, uh, on the surface of the heart, they're going to take that blood all the way around to this very large widened vessel called the coronary sinus. And I like to think, you know, um, back in AMP1, we studied the paranasal sinuses, and those are gonna be kind of opened spaces. We'll just think this is a widened kind of um, opened vessel where all that deoxygenated blood comes to. It's important to know that because this coronary sinus actually has a direct opening into the right atrium. And that is actually how all the blood from the deoxygenated blood from the external surface of the heart gets back inside of it. So as a reminder, your right atrium has three different connections, the superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava, and that coronary sinus. So hopefully that helps you learn the coronary vessels. I really hope those tips helped you. So please hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. I'll see you next time.